happily ever after. The end. That was a good one. Okay, pumpkin. Night, night. I love you. Go to bed. Wait, can you stay a while longer? Why? What's going on? You need to get your sleep. I'm scared. That book made me think of all the things I'm afraid of. Oh, no. Like what? Well, let's see. There's airplanes, bees, coronavirus, fire, dogs, Ghosts, slice, mice, nighttime questions, roller coasters, teasing, worms, x rays, and. Zoom. Did you just list your fears in alphabetical order? Whoa. I can relate. I feel scared and worried sometimes too. So, how can I feel better right now? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Hmm. Well, stories can help. Sometimes when I'm worried, I like to remember that I'm a part of a story that's way bigger than me. In fact, God's story has a lot of people who were afraid a lot of the time. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight. This is a part of God's story when everyone was afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, 
the woman named Mary. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome to my house. You want to talk to me? We haven't met before, have we? Uh, do you want to hear what I have to say? Yes, I do. Pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. Um, what kind of greeting is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you are going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. Uh, how, how can that be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby even though people thought it would be impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Mm-hmm. Well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Oh, good question. Uh, yes. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to his message. I need to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. Mary, I have something to tell you. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb bleeped for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with good news. God took one good look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked down the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. So, uh, can I stay with you for a few months? Pregnant? How is that possible? We aren't even male yet, and the law says that is not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she cures, is actually God's child. My only option is uh, to marry her and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation at least. But she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I am afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. I'm gonna marry Mary. I'm gonna marry Mary. And we are going to have a baby and name Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. I need a pack. Hold on, I have questions. Why is Joseph packing a bag? Why was Joseph afraid about Mary having a baby?
Do angels still visit people in dreams? Why did Mary stay at Elizabeth's house? Who named the kid God saved? Why is everyone making such a big deal about this? It's just a baby. The story is so weird, I just... Okay, wait. Wait. I do not have the answers to all of those questions. I mean, this is one of those bigger-than-life stories. We just don't know. There's unexplainable and miraculous parts. That sounds like what, the, what Mother Page says when I ask tough questions. Well, good. I'm glad I thought you sound like Mother Page. I mean, we just don't have all the answers. Now, I do know the answer to one of the questions you asked. Why was Joseph packing the bag? Well, to understand that, we need to meet the Emperor. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you. And you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count to you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, the good news is I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not going to wait much longer. Where are we staying? Oh, did you get a room at that nice inn I like? The one with the good breakfast? Um, not exactly. It was full. Oh. What are we going to do? Sleep outside with the shepherds? Stay in a stable with the donkeys? What? Who would do that? Joseph, the baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are all full. But I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Okay, stop there. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth. Hmm. Okay, we can talk about that later. The Bible doesn't really tell us anything about the birth anyway. It just says that Mary had the baby, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and put him in a feeding trough. That's it. But those are important details to remember for the next part of our story. It takes place in a field. Okay, keep going. There were shepherds living outside in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their sheep. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God. But they would soon realize that they did not need to be afraid. To God in the highest, ahem, glory to God. Is this even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? 
Do not be afraid, I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Good news for all the people. The Messiah is born, a Savior. Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. That is all. Goodbye. You guys saw that, right? Um, yes. Yes, I did. Yep, that happened. Baba! Well, we're going, right? Yes, we're going. We have to. Do we ring the sheep? I think we have to. What are those signs again? A baby wrapped in cloth is in the manger wrapped in cloth. We won't forget. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. That was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Friends, we have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor and we have very little power. I have no idea, but the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like, this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Won't that be something? It sure would. I believe there's no limit to what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds. Was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The Magi. We're, we're, we are really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and... Find out why there's a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? Who had already just said that? Now? Yes, yes, it looks like we're here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so that we can get some more information. Did someone say king? That would be me. 
I'm the big cheese around here. Everyone is talking about it. They all say that I am a powerful king. The best King Bethlehem has ever seen. We got it. Best king ever. So, we are here because we are looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star at its rising. And we come to honor him. It's would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Hey, put me through to my smart people. Hi, this is Go King, the very best king. I need to know, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bethlehem? Are you sure? Bye. Hi, wise folks. So, yeah, this is great. Go on and find this child and pay him honor. And get back to me about this so that I, too, can honor him. Uh, sure. Okay. We can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very certain there was a new leader that people were excited to meet. Well, we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold, frankincense, myrrh. Usually these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. If the good news were to turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we did not return to that wicked king head. Nope. No way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. You might just say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Those wise people were really great. They honored the king God had chosen, disobeyed the orders of King Herod, and made it home safely. Yes, they were brave and determined. Everyone in this story was, I think. From Mary and Joseph to the shepherds and the magi, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Pumpkin, are you feeling safe and sleepy? Our story is coming to an end. Yeah, I'm feeling safe and sleepy, but this isn't really the end. No? What do you mean? It's late. You need to get your sleep. Oh, this is just the beginning. Jesus is born. He grows up. He changes water to wine. He, f he teaches. He, flip he heals. He flips tables. He okay, okay. You're right. The birth of Jesus is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. Tonight, let's focus on this one special moment, this one night that brought us Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. This is a good story. <laughs> God's story is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way, but we can trust that love and justice will have a final word. 
Speaking of the final word, let's have a final word from Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely, from now all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God, from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants forever.
stuff your face. I hope you have enough popcorn for this whole scene, okay? So this is scene three. We are recording, and we will start off with Mary. Okay, Mary, go ahead whenever you're ready. Elizabeth, are you home? Yep, uh, just come on in, Mary. What is it? And here we go. Scene okay. nine. Feet. Wait, you're going to have to wait. Sorry, we can't shut Take our phone off. Take the phone off the hook of my office. <laughs> okay, hold on. Dad. Baby wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And ah. Well, ah, so, um, one sec. Baby wrapped in bands of cloth that's in a manger. Here, feel it. Goodbye.